Did you know that over 50% of cats in the UK and the US are overweight? If you're struggling to get your kitty's weight in check due to one greedy cat stealing another's food, you're not alone. We had this exact issue six years ago. But what if I told you there's a high-tech solution that could put an end to the food theft? Let me introduce you to the SureFeed microchip feeder. Could this be the solution you've been searching for? Let's chat about how it works, how to set it up, and given the steep price tag, whether it's actually worth investing into for the future. Here's everything you need to know. So how exactly does the high-tech pet feeder work its magic? Well, picture this. You've got a multi-cat household, each cat with the exact weighted perfected food, yet no matter how much care you put into portion control, one of your cats gets more and more chunky. This was us until the Surefeed Bouncer joined the party. After that point, whenever Bear, also known as Chonks or Super Chonks, approached her sister's bowl, the Bouncer stepped in and checked she had the right ticket. Unfortunately for her, she didn't and the lid stayed firmly shut, keeping those greedy paws at bay. The magic here is the way the Surefeed feeder uses your cat's microchip or RFID tag. The feeder recognizes your cat's microchip and opens a lid, but it's smart enough to stay firmly shut or proactively close when Chonks gets too close. On the bottom of the feeder is a switch, which you can use to adjust how proactive the bouncer is. So I know what you might be thinking. Well, this is all well and good, but how do I know whether the feeder is actually compatible with my cat's microchip? Well, if you're worried, you can quickly check your cat's microchip code on Surefeed's website. If you want to check, I've left a link in the video description. Oh, and if you find this information useful, please like the video and subscribe to not miss out on other cat-related content. But what about if your kitty is a microchip? Well, don't worry. The feeder also works with collar tags, which can simply be attached to your cat's collar. Additionally, the feeder can accommodate up to 32 different pet identities, making it ideal for households with multi-cats and just one feeder. While we didn't use it this way, it's a handy feeder if you've got other pets or small hands crawling about. Okay, so I imagine you're interested, but if you're like us, the next question we had was, well, this is cool, but can we actually train our feline overlords to use the pet feeder? And how much hassle is this gonna take? So is it easy to set up? Well, yeah. It's easy, but a bit too easy. Let me explain. Picture this, it's the morning, you're busy, tired, and still waiting for that caffeine to kick in. You need to give the cats their food because otherwise they might eat you or hold you hostage. You grab the bowls, lovingly prepare each of their meals whilst being watched intently. You walk over to the Surefeed feeder, reach down to open the bowl and sting. Rather than press the open button, you accidentally press the add pet button. Without your knowledge, from that moment on, if Chonks decides to investigate their sibling's bowl, they automatically become registered. Now Chonks has full food access. What's worse is you won't even realize until Chonks commits robbery right in front of you. Now you are stuck going through the hassle of resetting the feeder and reconnecting the right cat. And I can guarantee you this, your only spot that has happened when you're in a mad rush. So on the back of the feeder are three buttons. The first one opens and closes the lid. The second one registers your cat to the feeder. And the third one is like a training mode. We'll touch on that in just a second. Handsley, the designer, decided to put all of these buttons on top of each other. Now you can very easily accidentally press the wrong one. That's great. As we saw, registering your cat is easy. Simply encourage your cats to place their heads under the handle. Treats in the bowl works wonders. Now the feeder will recognize their microchip. The training mode helps your cat to adjust to the feeder gradually. We successfully trained four of our cats in three steps without much hassle. Firstly, introduce the feeder by initially feeding your cat with the new bowls in their usual spot, then introduce the feeder with the lid fully open. Secondly, gradually get your cats used to the moving lid by decreasing the lid gap over time. And thirdly, finally, close the lid and show your cat the food, repositioning them as needed. We didn't want to go into too much detail here, but let us know if you're interested and we'll do a follow-up video which explains exactly how to train your cats. Before we get into whether this is worth the investment, here's three additional features. One, personalize the bowls with various colors and materials to suit your cat's tastes. Two, the versatile bowl accommodates both wet and dry food. Three, there's a low battery indicator light to make sure the bouncer is always on duty. All right, is a Surefeed Microchip pet feeder actually worth your hard-earned cash? Well, to keep things balanced, we'll show you three things we dislike about the Surefeed feeder and three things we like, helping you to determine if it's the perfect match for your home, your cat, and critically, your wallet. Here's three things we dislike. Okay, so it sounds great, but what's the catch? Let's be real, it's the upfront cost. 
For the basic feeder, which we're discussing today, you're looking at 129 pound. It's not exactly a bargain, is it? Oh, and if you completely lost the plot, you can spend an additional 20 pound and buy the Feeder Connect, which allows you to remotely track and monitor your pet's eating habits via an app. Since when did we need an app to tell us how much food is left in our cat's bowl? How long before AI is just thrown in for good measure? I don't know, maybe it's just us getting old? Would you find it interesting to see how the more expensive one compares? Let us know in the comments if you'd find it useful. We'll put it to the test so you don't have to waste your own money trying it. Two, the bowls aren't particularly small, but we wish they were a little bigger for those days where you can't work from home and you need to add more food. Three, when was the last time you bought batteries? They're pretty expensive, right? Well, this feeder needs four big boy batteries. And guess what? Surefeed claims it wasn't designed for rechargeables. Seriously, what sort of f does that? Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? They say the batteries should last six months, but in our experience, with four cats over six years, we only get two months per charge. Additionally, our cats are grazers, so they come back repeatedly throughout the day. I'm sorry, but this is so dumb. A quick Google search indicates we'll be forking at least £30 a month on batteries for three cats. No, it's not happening. For that exact reason, we've ignored the manufacturer's warning and used rechargeable batteries. Maybe Surefeed could check the climate change news sometime. Okay, time for three things we like. One, just like us, our cats face health risks when they carry extra weight. Having control over what and how much they eat is a total win-win. Plus, keeping the weight in check can avoid pricey vet pills down the road, but it also ensures they're healthy as they grow older. Two, the white material is a bit of a dirt magnet and sadly can't be put in the dishwasher. However, it is very simple to wipe down and the maintenance is extremely low. Three, style is very much a personal preference. We quite like the look of the feeders, although maybe they've been in our house for too long and we can't see the wood through the trees. What do you think? Do you, do you like the look of them? So, should you buy it, save it for later, or simply ignore it? Now, there's no denying that this product is overpriced for essentially a microchip reader that's stuck to a food bowl. But let me tell you, despite the steep price, we swear by it. This bowl has been a complete lifesaver for our multi-cat household, putting an end to the chaos of cats snatching each other's meals and fostering a much healthier, happier environment for our furry friends. It's worked for us and clearly with 10,000 positive Amazon reviews, it works for others as well. If you have the same problem we had and want to simplify meal time, I'd say buy it. Wait, 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 before you go, did you know there's a way to stimulate your cat removing boredom and at the same time improving digestion? Our 13 year old cat Cookie, who's extremely lazy and has never used a puzzle feeders, recently put the cat it sensitive food maze to the test in this video here. Stay to the end as there's a surprising twist on how we use a feeder to get the most out of it. It's not what you think.